here in the mountains in Utah, we were chasing after some pretty special trout. Just long gravel pitches. There was a lot of incline, a lot more technical than what we did, anything that we did this year. All right, guys, that was a pretty serious drive. A lot more gnarly than the last time, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a lot more than what we did in Azuzu 1. Some good technical stuff there. So we were here in the mountains in Utah. We were chasing after some pretty special trout. We just got to our campsite after a long, there were, I mean, there was a, some long runs of just long gravel pitches. There was a lot of incline. And then as we got closer and closer to our campsite, it got more and more and more technical. Some cool stuff, though. Yeah. Got yeah. real tight on us, though. <laughs> it did. Hopefully you guys like some of that footage of us uh, off-roading the Isuzu a little tougher than what we've done. Uh, some of our new upgrades we're going to get tested out, so we're really excited about that. But we just got to our campsite. We need to set up camp real quick. And I want to go fish. Because that looks juicy. That Let's looks camp. super cool. Let's get the camp set up really quick while we still have daylight. We can go mm -hmm. fish till dark and come back here yep. afterwards. Dinner yep. tomorrow's problem. So any of y'all who've seen some of our previous videos know that if we go camping, we tend to like to cook something pretty good. Tonight, it's been a long travel day. We've had a lot of miles to cover and uh, we fished a little bit, I haven't caught a fish yet. So we need to definitely need to pick me up. We are going to cook some steak and potatoes. We stopped on the way over and bought some steaks at the grocery store, tossed them in the cooler on the way. And we've got a thing of uh, dried mashed potatoes, whatever the ones you just add water to. They're actually pretty freaking good. Don't knock it till you tried it, especially if you're out here in the middle of nowhere. Something about it just makes food taste better. So we're gonna get these marinated. We'll let these sit for a minute. We're gonna get things set up for tomorrow and then we'll cook them. Colby, yep. did you bring a lighter for the stove? No, that'd be a big N-O for me. Steve? <laughs> you know what? I said I was going to get one at the gas station, and guess what I did not get at the gas station? You didn't get that. Well, I got a bunch of Jack for Jack and Coke. That's good. That's well, useful. That. Well, how do we start this? Did... Yeah, I, I don't have a lighter, man. I mean, but I, I guess we could... Uh, you want yes. me to grab a log? You that could... Try, you can try that. That... This could I, work. I don't, I don't know what you... Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. Shit. Ah. Oh. Oh, that looks good. That's <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not have that. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Here. There we go. Hey guys, I want to take a quick minute to give a huge shout out to Swiss Tech. They make some of the most awesome products that we've ever used and they definitely won't break the bank. One of our favorite was their fixed blade knife. One of the coolest features about it is the fire starter in here definitely saved us. We were in a pinch there because our stove wouldn't light. We were able to get that, strike some strike some sparks on it and got that thing lighting up like, like that. As well as the blade in itself, super sharp, made it perfect for cutting through our kindling. This thing was awesome for that. On top of that, they have some of the greatest headlamps out there that we've ever used. The lighting on that is perfect. The battery super long lasting didn't have any issues on our last trip with that especially because we had to do a little bit work on the engine at night came in clutch for that and on top of all that the battery pack that we got with the solar panels that thing was amazing we were able to pop that up during the day let it charge throughout the day and came back in the evening we were able to charge up all our batteries for our cameras gopros all that stuff we were able to have a great time in the water we were able to film everything without any stops at all so if you liked what you saw or you've never checked out their products click on the link below give them a view and let us know what you think about them Well, day two. Yeah, uh, got a little bit of fishing in yesterday, but I mean, we really didn't catch anything. So like, what's your plan for today? Well, I mean, we only waited for like 30 minutes once we rolled in. Um, saw a lot of damselflies. Mm -hmm. So we are, of course I was streamer fishing yesterday. I'm actually gonna rig up some damselflies. We need a mosquito dry fly, honestly. We do need some mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thick in here, geez. Um, but I actually, for today, since we're gonna be here all day, we waited yesterday. I brought mm -hmm. I brought your secret weapon. Oh really? Oh sweet! I can finally stop squirrel fishing and actually get on the fish. And you need that? Oh sweet! Yeah, there you absolutely go. need this. Well, uh, let's go find the pump and let's get to fishing. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can uh, run across a couple. Really hoping that these uh, little belly boats will help us be able to get kind of around on the far side of the lake is really yeah. deep, um, and so. Hopefully being able to cast on the opposite side of the drop-off, pulling the flies mm -hmm. off the drop-off instead of pulling them up the drop-off is going to be the ticket. So, let's give it a shot. Sweet. Well, we fished around this lake a little bit this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a couple more lakes that we want to uh, go check out. This one obviously is like right at the campsite parking lot. So we feel like this one probably gets hit a little bit. So there's a couple more lakes that are only accessible by a, a hiking trail. We got our- it's The best part about these boats, isn't it? Yeah. Put them on our backs and they're super lightweight. And only issue we really have is the trail gets a little narrow on us. We might have to go sideways in it. Yep. So we're gonna go uh, for a little hike, check out a couple more lakes, see if we can. Find some fish. Hopefully, some fish are eating on top. That's what we're baby trying to trying to find some that are kind of cruising and eating on top. So mm -hmm. there we we'll have some heads. What about that spot, Steve? Honestly, definitely got some tadpoles in there. Well. Yeah, we're after like fish though. You, you want to fish it? Oh, I didn't bring a cast net, so we can't get the bait out of it. No, I'm talking like you could throw your dries in there. Oh, sweet. You see any heads? No, but I was just, it looks really good. It does look juicy. I'll go throw the boat in. Let's go check it out. 
You probably catch more fish out of there than we have. Better chance we catch fish out of that. Well, made it through our hike. How was your hike, Steve? I hate you. Okay. So I don't think Steve had a lot of fun on the hike, but we made it to one of the other lakes that we'd scouted out. Um, it actually looks a little bit better. The water looks cl clearer. Um, we've also got at least a little bit of uh, some grass, some trees, some down trees. It looks like the kind of trees are closer to the edge where that other lake we were at was a little more open. Um, so hopefully that gives us some structure with these trees and stuff that we can actually streamer fish a little bit, which is what I'm going to start with. What are you doing, Steve? Uh, I'm going to throw a little leech pad in there. I took my bobber off, so I'm going to try to pseudo nymph or pseudo streamer fish it, wow. but I'll probably get up nymphing it pretty quickly. Wow. Heard it here first. Um, Steven's resorted to nymphing and, uh, any indication of how my morning's going. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, it's, it's not good. If Steve's going to nymph, things are not good. Well, let's get out here, see if we can't, uh, can't end up finding a couple out of this one. All right, guys. Upgrade it. I'm just... <laughs> okay. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, no, you do it. All right, fine. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, that was great. Perfect, perfect. Right. God damn. Wow. <laughs> well, we made a few upgrades this last time we were out here with the uh, Zuzu. Um, we've got a trailer hitch put in the back there. Uh, I guess it's a, a recovery point for us. I was just thinking of us being able to take the boats on one of these trips. Yep. Second thing we put in, I guess, with, with the trailer hitch was a new bumper which I'm stoked on. That thing looks so sweet. And honestly, my favorite upgrade out of all of this is the new ladder on the back because that makes getting up to the Rome box where we store all our valuables, our rods, and all that kind of jazz makes it so much easier than how it was in the past. So, well, we also had a few other upgrades, didn't we? Yes, we, uh, as you re might remember from the first one, the headlights were awful and we only had two small spots at the front. So we've upgraded the actual bulb itself and we retained the fog lights, but we added four more lights up top, two long distance spots, and two floodlights. So that way we can actually be able to see with this thing off-road, because man, last time it was rough. It wasn't friendly. It was not. Our buddies over at Rome Box hooked us up. We've got a Rome storage box up top now, which is awesome to be able to have that extra storage. This thing is pretty small, so we need all the storage we can get. Then, last modifications we made to this thing before we took it out was it already kind of looked the part, but we really wanted to set it off over the edge. We had our buddies over at Nomad Wheels hook us up with some new wheels, and now it really looks the part. It looks sweet, dude. It really tied it together. I also put, with the lights, I put a blackout piece on the hood so that you don't get the reflection from the lights on the roof. Oh, that, that, that would just look cool. Nope, actually had actually does something. It's functional. There you go. Learn something new every day. And last, the biggest thing for this trip that we did was I replaced the clutch. That was pretty clutch of you to do that. That was pretty clutch. 
out. And man, driving this thing up here over these roads made it so much nicer, being able to actually really rely on that clutch. Uh, in low range, that thing will really grip. And driving this thing up here yesterday was easy. I did just have a great idea for another upgrade for Zuzi 3. Suicide doors. Ooh, that would be good. Be pretty clutch. Hey, we loved hearing from you guys after the last video on the upgrades you wanted to see in this thing. Uh, we're always looking for new ways to upgrade our... Uh, to upgrade or outfit the Azuzu to get us ready for the next trip. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please drop us a comment, slide in our DMs, and let us know what you want to see for the next shoot. So, since we ran you through what was new with the Azuzu, we were actually about to hop in it. We fished this morning. It was... It was a cool campsite, but the fishing cool just spot. wasn't there. Fishing wasn't there. We didn't really know a lot about these lakes and uh, not a lot of activity. So, we're about to hop in and we're gonna run down to a different tributary that we know about. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go fish it this afternoon, hopefully be able to get into some more stuff. And who knows, while we're driving, if we come across something else that we wanna fish, we might just hop out and fish it. Absolutely. Cool, let's, let's roll. After. Run in the Azuzu yeah. down here. Uh, so I had to come to a lower elevation stream. Um, the lakes just weren't really working for us yet. It's you really been had to pull my arm though to get me down here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to fish some lakes, but definitely this is a little more our jam. We got mm -hmm. some small, relatively small water. Um, we're really excited to fish this. Um, I mean, that's the good thing about the Azuzu is that yep. it keeps us mobile. We don't set up like a huge base camp. Oh, and it just eats these dirt roads up and this off-road yep. stuff that you know your your regular car just has some trouble with. Yep. So easy to easy to bump around, easy to get to the water and try a bunch of water while we're here to find what's working. Mm -hmm. So we've got some dry rigs and we've got some small streamer rigs that we want to throw. Um, water out west has just been pretty high. Uh, we had a lot of snow, which is great, and we're still almost a little bit in runoff. Um, yeah, I mean this water's freezing still. Freezing cold and. Uh, I mean, you can definitely tell it's high. Mm -hmm. um, and it's definitely higher than last time I was here last year. So I think uh, some small streamers could play really well, mm -hmm. um, but we're definitely gonna try to get some dry fly eats. I have no idea if that's gonna be working or not. I just hope we don't Fingers have to bust right? out the nymph rigs, but we'll see. Ooh, that's a dirty word. All right, wish us luck. They were eating streamers earlier. We threw on this little white leech onto our five weight that we're throwing right now. Super easy to throw. Like one of the best, probably beginner setups. Just a nine foot five weight out here on these smaller creeks. Does awesome. You can throw uh, dries, nymphs, some smaller uh, streamer patterns. Okay, so we threw on that little white leech. Almost immediately pulled out this little cutthroat rainbow. Might be a cut bow. Pretty little fish. Uh, what we're throwing it on is actually this uh, Reddington Wrangler. Uh, this is one of the newer rods that we picked up over here at Blue Line. And what we actually did is upgraded the line. You can actually check it out on bluelineflies.com. Uh, we've got these on there. 
it's a perfect setup for anyone looking for like just something to keep in your truck. Maybe you, you need a new fly rod, you don't really know what to get. These are perfect little combos for that. Check the link below and you can find it at bluelandflies.com. Fishing's definitely picking up. I just missed two out of this hole, which uh, I don't know if I've been doing too much streamer fishing this year. This is the first time I'm throwing a dry and if I'm rusty or uh, if it was bad luck, but I uh, had two come unbuttoned right here. Um, but at least we're finding some fish. It's been a, been a lot better than <laughs> the first evening we fished over here. So awesome to be able to find some fish the second day. We've got a, a couple soft six weights here. Um, that's kind of my go-to for waiting. I like that because it lets me, it's kind of the Swiss Army tool. I can throw big flies, I can throw small streamers, and I can throw big dry fly, big dry rigs, big nymph rigs. But I like the soft six because I still have a lot of temper protection. Um, and I've got that paired with a line that's a really strong weight forward line uh, to really help turn that stuff over. That way when I'm down here, I doesn't, I'm not limited by my gear, by what I'm throwing. Uh, carrying two rods, we've got a six weight and a seven weight. The seven weight's got our sink tip streamer set up on it. That just allows me to be able to throw a double dry or a dry drop or a big heavy nymph rig really easily. So that's what we're carrying with us today. Thanks for stopping by. I would say Isuzu tube was a pretty big success. Absolutely it was. We ran it out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Mm -hmm. Saw a lot more off-road and some more serious off-road stuff. Maybe Way more technical. technical. Yeah. For sure. We had some awesome fishing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the whole point of the Isuzu was to be able to get out away from people into the middle of nowhere and find some native cutthroat species. And that's what we did. One of the cool thing about the Azuzu is it works like a mobile base camp for us too, because I mean, we got up to those lakes there. I mean, the off-roading was exactly what we wanted to. We were able to put it through the ringer and the technical stuff there, but the fishing just didn't pan out there, you know, and that, and that happens. You do your research and sometimes it just doesn't work out for us. But the yeah. nice thing about that Azuzu, we were able to just pack up everything that next morning after it was, we were sure that fishing wasn't going to be good up there. And we were able to pack it up, come down here with a little lower elevation. And we found some awesome rivers down here in the low country where we were able to really get in some fish and actually have a great time fishing today. Yeah, super cool. I mean, we came out in the middle of nowhere. We saw four people all weekend. Yeah. Nobody was fishing. Nope. 
for the release of this film, we have a new Isuzu shirt. That's the scene. That's that's the Isuzu there. There's Steven over here somewhere in the trees. Look, you got some water and trees. I think I'm sleeping on top of the roof in this it's, one. It's like, you, it's like you were there. But no, seriously, we really appreciate the support from all of y'all. Absolutely. If you love the series, if you like the Isuzu, you want to see more content from us, make sure you head on over to bluelineflies.com. You can grab a hat, a new Isuzu shirt, help support the channel because if you can you're going to end up getting more better content if you like the content you're seeing on our channel make sure you like and subscribe and slide in our dms and let us know what you want to see on the zuzu for the next trip thanks for watching we'll see you out there bye